Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So only two days are left for your Comet K2024 examination. So we have started a series where we are discussing the top 30 questions from all the important chapters. So in this video, I'll be discussing the top 30 questions from the organic chapter that is organic chemistry, some basic principles and techniques. So this is a moderate weightage topic where you can expect two to three questions from this chapter. Right, so very easy and scoring topic. You just need to know some basic formulas and some basic things about like stability of carbocation, stability of carbonyl, then uh, substitution reactions, addition reactions. Right, so very scoring topic and questions are easy, like very easy questions are asked from this topic. So most of the questions here are from your previous year papers. If you are able to solve them, you can assure that this chapter is ready for your exam. So let us start with the first question here. That is. The structures are given here uh, represent. So if we see the structure here, first is CH3, CH in that we have NH2, then next CH2, CH2 and then CH3. Second one, if you see CH3, CH2, CH, NH2, CH2 and CH3. So you can see in this one, the NH2 group is attached on the second carbon. Here it is attached on the third carbon. Different positions are there. So it is definitely position isomers. Correct answer is option number B. Now let us quickly see the next question. During lysine test, nitrogen and sulfur present in an organic compound changes into. So uh, this is a test to detect your nitrogen and sulfur. So nitrogen changes to NaCN and sulfur changes to Na2S. So correct answer is option number A. Next, which of the following is an isomer of ethanol? So if you see ethanol has CH3, CH2 and OH. Right? So you can remember for aldehydes, the ketones will be the isomers and for alcohols, the ethers are the uh, functional isomers. So dimethyl ether, if we see, so I will have CH3, O and CH3. So you can see here two carbons, two carbons, six hydrogens and one oxygen. So the correct answer for this question will be option number D. The correct order of decreasing stability of the following carbon and ions are. So if there is more electron with donating group, okay. Electron donating group will decrease the stability. Electron withdrawing group will increase the stability. Now, if we see here, CH3 hold 3C minus. So, I can draw like this. Then we have CH3 hold 2 CH minus. Okay. And we have then CH3, CH2 minus. And then we have C6H5, CH2 minus. Right. So if you see C6H5, uh, CH2 minus can withdraw this negative group by resonance, right? So here the negative ion will be very stable. So the more stable one will be fourth one. So we can eliminate option A and option D. Now if you see here three groups are donating, here two groups are donating and here one group is donating. So here the stabilization or uh, here the destabilization will be less. So after that we will get three. So after four we have three, then two and then one. So correct answer for this question will be option number B. Next, which type of intermediate A is formed during the reaction? So in this case, what happens? Nitrogen group is released and we get free radicals here. Okay. So the correct answer for this question will be option number. We will be getting ethyl radicals. So correct answer is option number C. Next, which of the following is the incorrect order of stability of carbocation? So in case of carbocation, if electron donating groups are there, stability increases electron withdrawing groups are there, stability decreases, right? So now if you see here, we have to tell which is incorrect. So here pH 3 is there, they can donate electrons through resonance. So 3 pH group, 2 pH group, 1 pH group. So this order is correct. Now if you see here, here we have 3, touch, three methyl groups attached like this, okay? So they will all donate. So this stability will be more as compared to here where there is only two carbon groups attached. So this one should be more stable than this one. So this order is incorrect. Correct answer will be option number B. Next, the structure shows. Okay, so if you see here this one by seeing the double bond, you may think that it shows geometrical isomerism, but you see both the groups are CH3 here. So for geometrical isomerism, we need the condition that here X and Y, if it is attached, X should be not equal to Y, right? But then this one will not show geometrical isomerism. You can see this carbon present here is a chiral carbon, right? So it will show optical isomerism. So correct answer for this question will be optical isomerism. Option number B. Next question in Zeldal method. This is important question here. In Zeldal method, ammonia form from 8 gram of food neutralizes 60 centimeter cube of 
0.1 normal acid so what is the it is saying ammonia from other food is neutralized by 60 centimeter cube of 0.1 acid the percentage of nitrogen in the food is so the, the formula to calculate the percentage of nitrogen will be 1.4 into v1 into n1 by w right so now i can put here 1 by 4 1.4 v1 is 60 and then you have 0 0.1 and mass is given is uh, 8 gram right so if we solve this one we'll be getting around 1.05 so correct answer for this question will be option number a okay percentage into 100 you have to do next question which of the following statement is incorrect about partition chromatography mobile phase can be a gas this is incorrect in partition chromatography mobile phase is a liquid right so the incorrect statement is option number a Next, in Zeldal method, ammonia from 5 gram of food neutralizes 30 centimeter cube of 0.1 normal acid. The percentage of nitrogen in the food is again the sa same question, same formula. Percentage of nitrogen will be equal to uh, 1.4 into uh, normality into volume by W, right? So 1.4 into normality is 0 0.1 into 30 by the masses uh, given 5 gram. Right. So now if you solve this, we'll be getting around a 0 0.84. Okay. So the correct answer for this question will be option number A. Okay. Now let us see the next question. Um, okay. A miscible mixture of C6H6 and CHCl3 can be separated by. So you know uh, if you have uh, miscible liquids, right? Miscible liquids can be separated by distillation method based on their uh, boiling points, right? So the correct answer for this question will be option number b so you have to remember miscible liquids can be separated by distillation method now next question ch3 whole 4 n plus is neither an electrophile nor a nucleophile because so by seeing plus charge you may think it is an electrophile right but electrophile is something which can accept the electron but nitrogen doesn't have any uh, vacant orbitals okay if you see nitrogen structure what is its valence electron 2s2 and 2p3 right so here what happens 2s2 and then 2p3 so this three electrons have formed a bond with hydrogen or like ch3 okay and this one has also formed a bond with another ch3 so for there is no uh, in two uh, second cell there is no 2d orbital so it cannot accept any electrons right so that is why neither at it has an electron pair available for donation uh, nor can accommodate electrons since all the cells of the nitrogen are fully occupied okay so that is why it cannot behave as a nucleophile or electrophile correct answer is option number b next what is the number of primary secondary and tertiary uh, and quaternary carbon atoms present in the structure so primary carbon atom means what it should be attached to one carbon okay it should be attached to one carbon secondary means it should be attached to two carbon tertiary attached to three carbon quaternary should be attached to four carbon now if you see the first one first carbon is attached to only one carbon so this is a primary carbon now second carbon if you see it is attached to two carbon so it is a secondary one now this one if you see it is attached to four carbon so tertiary this one is attached to only one primary this is primary here this is attached to two though this is secondary here it is attached to three so it is tertiary this is attached to one primary this is attached to one primary so one two three four five five primaries we got right so only one option is there secondary you can see two secondary we got one tertiary and we have one tertiary and one quaternary okay so correct answer is option number b easy question next minus i effect is shown by so electronegative elements will show minus i effect so if you see no2 n is highly electronegative it will pull the electron towards itself so correct answer is option number c the decreasing order of reactivity towards electrophilic substitution reaction of the following compounds is electrophile has to react right so the reactant should be nucleophilic nucleophilic means it should be electron rich so any group which can donate electrons to the ring which can increase the nucleophilicity of the ring will be more reactive towards the electrophile now if you see the groups here chlorine has uh, chlorine has minus i effect r has minus no2 has minus r effect and ch3 has plus i effect right so ch3 will donate the electrons it will increase the uh, when it donates the electron, it will increase the electron density or nucleophilicity of the compound. So that will be most reactive. Now, if you compare here, in co compound number one, there is no effect. 
here these groups are reducing the nucleophilicity so after 4 1 has to come so we can eliminate option number a and d now 4 1 4 1 is there now if you see this is minus r and this is minus i which can withdraw more minus r will withdraw more right so in case of 3 the nucleophilicity is very less so that has to come at the end and next two so correct answer is option number c okay okay next question uh, an organic compound weighing 0 0.15 gram gave 0 0.15 gram gave on carrier's method 0 0.12 gram of agbr the percentage of br in the compound will be close to okay so what, what you can understand here is if we have agbr what is the mass 108 plus 80 that is 188 gram in 188 gram of agbr we have 80 gram of bromine right in one mole of agbr there is one mole of bromine so i can say in 188 gram there is 80 gram of bromine now that means in one uh, gram of agbr how much bromine will be there 80 by 188 bromine now in the question how much agbr is given how much agbr is produced 0 0.12 so in 0 0.12 gram of agbr how much bromine is present 80 by 180 into 0 0.12 now this is the amount of bromine present in 0 0.12 gram of agbr now the question is asking what is the mass of the organic compound 0 0.15 gram so i can find out the percentage of bromine okay so that will be equal to 80 by 188 into 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.15 into 100 so this one will give me 34.1 percent okay correct answer for this question will be option number b now let us see the next question identify the compound iupac name of the following this compound is very tricky because nitrile group is present so how many carbons are there five and the functional name is nitrile so it is pentane nitrile correct answer is option number c so do not mark c cyanide okay it is the common name next question malic acid and fumaric acid so malic acid is the cis form of butane uh, 2 4 dionic acid and this is the trans form right so these are your geometrical isomers correct answer is option number b next question the ipsc name of tertiary, but tertiary butyl chloride so if you see this is tertiary butyl chloride so if i want to write the ipsc name 1 2 3 2 methyl 2 chloropropane so 2 chloro 2 methyl propane that is option number a following alphabetical order so let us see the next question question number 20 arrange the following compounds in the increasing order of stability so let us see the cations that is given here we have c and then c and then c here first one c plus ch2 ch3 this is the first one second one is c we have three c's attached here and then plus here so this is first second and then third structure is given you have with two carbons right and uh, so this one is H then you have the third one here fourth one is uh, you have two carbon and then we have one H here and fifth is CH3 plus so if you know the um, carbo the carbon group if we have more carbon group they can uh, give the electrons and can satisfy the positive charge so now you can see here only one carbon is there there is no donating group so this will be the least stable so 5 will be the least stable we can eliminate option b and c now if you see fourth one here only one carbon is donating here two carbons are donating so definitely four will be less stable three will be more stable so we will have after five four and three four and three now consider here this is very important two and one now if you see here ch3 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 and here we have ch3 ch3 ch2 and then ch3 right so now you might be thinking that here there is more carbon so more uh, plus i effect will be there and this one will be more stable but we must remember that hyper conjugation is more preferred or is the dominant uh, factor to decide about the stability of the carbocation so if you here you see there are how many alpha hydrogens we have three plus three six eight alpha hydrogens or there are eight hydrogens for hyper conjugation and here we have nine right so that is why two is the more stable one than one so we will get 5 4 3 1 and 2 so correct answer is option number a okay next what is the hybridization state of benzyl carbocation so if you can see hybridization we can tell by knowing the number of sigma bonds and the number of lone pairs so here it has three sigma bonds for three sigma bonds the hybridization is sp2 correct answer is option number a next nitrogen detection in an organic compound uh, is carried out by lassine test 
the blue color formation uh, to which of the following formula okay the uh, the blue color is due to the perif uh, peripherocyanide so correct answer for this question is option number b so please remember this compound okay next one if you so this is your plus the fe is in plus 3 state right so it is peripherocyanide next in question number 23 you have homolytic fission of the following alkanes form free radicals so let us see the free radicals here first i will get is ch3 ch2 dot okay second one we will get is ch3 ch dot ch3 right third one i'll be getting is ch3 whole 2 okay then c ch3 dot and next one is ch3 ch2 c dot ch3 and ch3 okay so now if you see here to this carb to this free radical all the carbons are attached so that will donate the electron and will increase the stability so correct answer for first or first one will be the most stable one will be this one right so if you see the option we have two options with this one so we can eliminate option c and d okay now if you see the next one should be this one because here also we have this one two groups are attached and then this big group is attached so that is why the second one will be your ch3 whole 2 c dot ch2 ca3 so this one will be second first then this one will be second now if you see here here only one donation is there here two donation is there so next this one will be there and the last will be this one so the correct answer for this question will be option number b okay next an organic compound uh, which produces a bluish green flame when heated with copper wire so this one is a theoretical question chlorobenzene produces blue green flame you can remember answer is option number c next the number of sigma bonds and pi bonds in pent 2 yne so we have this one uh, pent 2 yne right um, okay. so i'll take first one two here three four and five so one two and three and here we have four and five i'll write all the bond structures so that you can count easily so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 sigma bonds and 2 bi bonds. The correct answer is option number A. Next, in Lassine test for nitrogen in an organic compound, the blue coloration is due to the formation of ferriferocyanate. We have also seen its structure. So remember the structure also and the name also, option number B. The reaction of ethene in an presence of H- minus can be an example of. So if you have this one ethene, okay and H minus is reacting. So what will happen? It will react on this one and this bond will shift here, right? So that is known as your electromeric effect when the electrons from a double bond shift to one of the carbon. So that is your minus I effect. Correct answer is option number C, okay? Next, identify the electrophile among the following. So this has lone pair, it will behave as a nucleophile. It has lone pair, it will behave as a uh, nucleophile. Here negative charge is there. This will also behave as a nucleophile. AlCl3 is a Lewis acid. Right? it is electron deficient it will behave as an electrophile so correct answer for this question is option number c next the carbon atoms in ethene are so if you have the carbon atoms in ethene it will be like this you can see there are three sigma bonds so they are sp2 hybridized correct answer is option number a and the last question is group with electron donate electron withdrawing resonance effect is so amino group has lone pair it will have electron donating group nitro group is having electron withdrawing groups the correct answer is option number b okay um, yeah so these were the top 30 questions from the um, one of the important chapter that like all the general organic chemistry is covered in this chapter stability of carbocation anion reactivity of nucleophiles electrophiles substituent products so these all things are very important very basic concepts you must revise them before the exam if you have found this video helpful please like share and subscribe the channel all the very best for your exam Thank you.